Uh, you know, really just execution, try not to, um, you know, pre-snap penalties, sloppy stuff, making sure we try to execute the best we can. Um, you know, just be a, you know, trying to get better every every time we go out there. So um, try to get a little consistency on both sides of the ball. Um, find out who some of the young players are uh, as they get to go against somebody else, you know, the special team stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's, I don't know if weird is the right word, but um, yeah, it'd be great. I mean, it'd be good. Well, Case, Case was a winner. You know, he won a lot of games. He was, moved well in the pocket. Um, you know, he's a great teammate. Um, made some outstanding plays for us. And, uh, and like with Case, I mean, with Kirk, um, you know, he's been, he's been as advertised, throws the deep ball well, um, very accurate, uh, takes charge of the offense. Um, Really, just about um, not being robotic, not thinking, just go out and play, you know, like he's been doing in practice. Who? Vocal? Mm. No, he's he just likes to work. That was part of it. And part of it was, um, you know, the re relationship with Kirk. Um, you know, it's important to have a good uh, combination in, a, in the quarterback room, but uh, him having experience of playing and, you know, another smart guy. So I think that's that's was uh, a couple of big factors. Well, a lot. Um, you know, if if you get the wrong players hurt, you know that you don't have a lot of depth behind them, then that really that really can derail a lot of things that you can do. And then you're always trying to cover up for them and and, and things like that. So um, obviously, the more depth you have, the better it is. In case you know guys get injured in this game and you miss you know miss a game or two or three or whatever. Uh, no interest and totally false. Tweet that. Excuse me? I, I thought the good thing was, um, you know, that we, it was first time we got on a turf, we get first time in the stadium <coughs> under the lights. So I, you know, the, the energy, everything was good there. Um, you don't have to sit here and watch me. I'm going to, I'm not going to say anything bad. He's always nervous when I talk. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I thought got some guys made, the, made some good plays. I thought, you know, both sides of the ball had, uh, um, some good plays. Uh, it was nice to, to, to get in that new stadium and, you know, run around a little bit. No, well, he, you know, I think he was a little bit um, juiced up, you know, because of the crowd and things like that. So, um, you know, that's something that we have to find out about, too, because we haven't been with him, you know, in a game. We've gone against him, but uh, so that's part of it, too. Yeah, well, he's been, you know, he's been sick for a few days, but um, for the most part, he's done pretty well. I think he's moving very well. Um, you know, he needs to con continue to work on his consistency with his uh, footwork in, in some of some areas. Um, you know, like two days ago, I saw some poor footwork. Yesterday was not as poor, and so I'm hoping today it's it's uh, more consistent and better. Yeah, I think he's in pretty good shape. Uh, he's moving well. His his weight's down, so you know that part I, I don't really have an issue with. Yeah, we, we kind of knew he had a big leg, um, you know, and so 
um, you know, as part, you know, big, strong guy, can kick the ball a long ways. I mean, that was part of the reason why we drafted him. He was so nervous last week when Hagen wasn't here, and I was telling him what I was going to say, and he was trying to get me not to say it. So that was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> huh? I know. So is he. So is he. So is George Payton. So is Sugarman. I'm always concerned about everything, so, um, you know, it is what it is.